this is a short review video on my M90 Swedish Army uniform that I got a while ago and this is a relatively cheap setup, it cost me something like 70 euros so paying 70 euros for a brand new uniform is a no-brainer even though this is a relatively old uniform as the M90 lets us believe. Now the material of the uniform is uh, some kind of polycotton mixture, I believe that it's something like 50-50 mixture. Uh, the fabric itself is quite windproof and thick, so I would say that it's even thicker than in the early uh, windproof smocks that the British Army uses, so in the windy conditions you shouldn't be that cold. Of course it's Army uniform, so if they issue it, you are happy with it. Now, uh, this can also be bought separately, so if you need a good set of camouflage trousers, I would say that the M9 trousers are quite excellent. I'm not really that sure about the jacket. The uh, jacket has quite limited features and there are way more better camouflage jackets available, so let's go to the details there so that the video wouldn't be too long. Now, uh, in the front we don't have any kind of zipper, we just have this button system. Okay, that is basically quite basic and simple, but the zipper would have been better. Um, we have two big pockets in the front, but for some reason there is this slot for a pen that is taking room from the main compartment, so in my opinion these pockets are a little bit too small. Okay, they have velcro closing, so I, I, I believe that is quite nice. We have these two tabs for all kinds of insignia, if you have any, and a velcro tab on the left for your name sign. On the right arm, you have velcro tab for insignia and well reflectors and whatnot. And for some reason we have these weird buttons on both arms. Um, I don't know, I really don't know why. And on the elbows you have double material, of course, that is nice. If you have to crawl around, let's say for airsoft or paintball or whatever, taking nature pictures. Uh, on the cuffs we have really simple clothing with velcro. Okay, I have nothing to complain, complain about that. Uh, there's not any tightening on the waist or hip line, so depending on what size you get, uh, this might be a little bit baggy and I would assume that in any modern uh, uniform there would be some kind of tightening mechanism as this is probably meant to be an auto jacket. You know, almost every every weather, except for of course Arctic winter. Now there is no hood, and the color itself is quite simple and basic. Now inside there is absolutely no pockets, so it's a really basic jackets. And I don't know, these cost something like 35 euros new, and if I would just want to get a good camouflage jacket for 35 euros, you can get a windproof jacket, so windproof smoke from the British Army, so I would recommend, absolutely recommend those. Uh, what comes to the trousers, they are quite excellent, they fit me well and they have nice neat features. Um, we have, first of all, very large cargo pockets on the side, and I like that a lot, and they also have the thick plastic zipper closing, which is also nice. In the, on the knees we have double material, which is nice and once again if you have to crawl for some for any reason. And on the front we have two pockets with a very pop lock, very simple pop lock closing, which is nice. Of course the front pockets could have been a little bit bigger, but they are okay sized if you want to carry your car keys and whatever. Other pockets there isn't any. So you don't need really need a back pocket for anything. Now um, like uh, on the side, almost up to the knee, we have a very cool, nice plastic zipper, so if you have to roll up the pants, if you are waiting or if you want to put the trousers on with your combat boots on, that's easily achievable. And on the ankle, we have two pop locks for tightening the ankles, and there's also uh, some kind of nylon material reinforcement around the ankle. I assume that it is that if you are wearing rubber boots, they are more easier to put on, but it's, it might be for some other purpose. And on the waistline, there is basic, very basic uh, belt.
belt loops, but there's also loops for your suspender hooks if you are wearing suspender suspenders that are using hooks. And of course if you are going hiking and you have a heavy rucksack, you probably don't want to be wearing the belt, so the suspender hooks are well a good option or suspenders or whatever. Now in the zip or in the fly we have a basic zip and two buttons for closing. Um, like I said, trousers are very good, but the jacket isn't that good, of course 70 euros for the whole set is relatively good bargain. And now the sizing system itself is relatively weird. The Swedish army has decided that they will just tell that this set will fit for something who is something like 190 centimeters tall and then they said that you have a weight range something like from 80 to 90 kilograms. Um, well, it is semi-working system if you work in the military, but let's say if you are trying to get these from any web shop, uh, figuring out what is your real size uh, might be really, really tricky. Now, I basically, uh, I am like 190 centimeters tall and I weigh 85 kilograms and I decided to get 190 and 95 set, meaning that it would be suitable for someone who is uh, 90 to 100 kilograms. So, of course, I cannot recommend that you would get oversized, but I wanted to have a woolen jumper underneath and warm clothing, so therefore I wanted to have a little bit more loose clothing. Um, so, that's about it, I guess. And it seems that this video is less than 7 minutes long. Hey, I'm getting better at this.